Good morning vlog. It is Wednesday, August 17th, and I'm vlogging again. Usually when I wake up, I read. These days I'm reading One Piece. I don't know why I decided to pick up the camera. Actually, I decided mentally my brain I'm filming today last night because it's just been so long and I'll get into this video later about like why I stopped posting on YouTube cold turkey for like three months. Yeah, I miss you guys. I really do. Comment below if you still recognize me and I'm not a stranger because I really, really miss you guys and I can't wait to just kind of share more about my life and just get back into things. So I'm gonna read my book and then keep you guys updated when I leave this bed. It's currently, what time? Fuck. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 8.06 a.m. It is 8.06 a.m. All right, I'm about to go on a walk. I usually like to walk before 9 a.m. because the sun gets too harsh in LA and I like to not get wrinkles. Doing a walk daily for me is so important because I struggle with anxiety like an regular person would. I know a lot of people struggle with anxiety and walking truly helps calm my fears, calm my disturbing thoughts and make me feel better and get ready for the day. So I usually do like a one mile loop and I ask myself three questions. What am I thankful for? What am I proud of? And what do I want to accomplish one day? And those three questions really help me get ready and get in the right mind frame. Because I find when you're thankful, proud of yourself and looking forward to something, you can't really have room for the negativity, the anxious thoughts, and all that stuff, which you guys know, or you might not know, but I really do struggle with, so. Let's go on my walk. I'm gonna take a minute and appreciate my nails on this morning walk. I did them myself last night, and I'm so impressed. Look at them. So I just came back from my walk, and I've been trying to like record me talking about why I stopped YouTube, but I keep not liking the way I say things, so I'm just gonna say it for the fifth time here once again, because I've recorded it so many times. I stopped doing YouTube for about five months. I quit from April of this year to around August right now because I was tired of hate comments and people being really, really rude to me. Not just in the comments, but in DMs and just like, <sighs> I had to like calm myself down or else I don't wanna, you know, make this that kind of law yet. Yeah, people are just being really rude. And in contrast, if you don't know, I've been doing YouTube since I was like nine years old. I've been posting consistently for almost like once a week, give or take. And to stop for five months after posting consistently for almost 10 years is a lot for me. Long story short, I'm human, I have feelings, and I think it was super normal and valid to take a break. And I'm really happy that I took a break because I feel a lot better. And my realization that I've learned is like, I'm so incredibly blessed to have the life I live in. I have a nice apartment in LA. I have a successful business. And I have all these things that I'm so proud of. And I don't wanna do YouTube just to like build a viral video and to make people think I'm, I look cool. I just wanna make content so I can hopefully teach one of y'all a thing or two about life, maybe. If anything, just share my emotions about building a career as a young person. That's like literally it. I just want to showcase, hopefully help someone starting a journey similar to mine and help you guys out a little bit. That's the new goal for the channel. <sighs> okay, that took a lot to say and I probably didn't say it correctly, but who cares? Smoothie, strawberries. What the fuck is it? Is this chicken? Okay, we're not putting chicken in my smoothie. Banana, avocado, oat milk. I don't know if it's just me, but making my own food sometimes I get a little bit like nauseous. I don't know why. Like look at this avocado that I was gonna put in my smoothie. It's like, it looks brown to me. I can't be the only one that's like this. I just get so, ugh. like seeing raw meat freaks me out sometimes. Like obviously I cook, like I'm not uncultured, but whenever I see like a raw chicken or like a raw salmon, I'm like, you're telling me that is gonna become food. Ooh, I'm gonna add protein powder actually. Um, if you guys know or watch my Instagrams or TikToks, you guys know I'm on a huge health kick. Not really like a diet, but more just like I love working out. I've been recently really into, into this protein powder. It's by Vital Proteins, not sponsored. Usually they give you a little like scooper, but I, I can't find it, so I'm just gonna. Okay, another weird thing about me is I, I'm very sensitive about texture and I think I fucked up my smoothie. It's a little too liquidy for me. Ugh! Okay, whatever. Don't be a little baby. Okay, it tastes okay. The green one looks good. Um, let her know the legal approved it. The only edit they have is if we can clarify. All right, it is 11.30. I finished my important to-dos for work. Essentially, right now, I 
have two campaigns my agency is working on. I have an agency that runs TikTok accounts for crypto companies. So we launched a campaign actually yesterday and it's not doing so bad. It got like 10,000 views in the first 24 hours, which is good for an account with zero followers. Like, you know, so not too bad. We're gonna run boosted ads later in the future because we wanted to get to around a million views, but I'm not upset. And then I also had some pitches that I was working on because on my personal brand side, I do sponsorships on my TikTok and I'm working with a new brand potentially. So it's just talking with the brand managers on email. And yeah, I also finished pitching Red Bull on my content strategy for this month. Basically I'm working with Red Bull and making content for them on their pages, which is so exciting. I'm surfing with them in Hawaii this weekend. So I was just telling them my plan for that trip. I'm just so thankful because I love what I do, but I never always felt that way. Sometimes I feel like I hate my life and sometimes I feel like it's great. Today, it's an okay day, so that's good. I'm actually about to head to the gym. I just change, as you guys can tell. Something about me is I literally change five outfits a day. Like I have, I change my outfits so often that it, it hurts myself sometimes. This is the gym bag that I use, it's the base weekender bag. I go to Equinox to work out, which I guess is kind of cringe because it's really, 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 really expensive, but the gym is my safe place. I feel a lot better when I'm there and it's just good for my mental health. So we're gonna go to Equinox, do a quick little workout and then get some lunch because I'm hungry. Like a bitch gotta eat, a bitch gotta eat. I was just on my way to Equinox and then I stopped by the UPS store because I got a package and I'm so excited. I basically got my boyfriend a Versace hat for our one year anniversary and Essence was having a sale, which was really good actually. So I bought something for him and I just wanted to see how it looks because i know my boyfriend's favorite brand is versace and look at him this looks is this is really cute i think he's gonna really like it i also got him something else as well that was more sentimental but it hasn't arrived yet and our event anniversary is literally tomorrow so i got this just because i wanted to make sure there was something i could give him and this is such a cute hat i think he's gonna love it I just finished in the gym and it was solid. I saw my friend Claire there. She came to stalk me at the Equinox session. I'm now getting some lunch. I'm at Teddy's Red Taco, which is in Venice, and I am so hungry. It's like 2 p.m. and I still haven't eaten yet. I'm ordering the biggest meal possible there and hopefully satisfying with here. Alrighty, I am back home. And I just put on a face mask because I'm getting ready to go to an event tonight. It's called So You Went Viral, which I didn't go viral recently, but um, my friend Ami and Wally are hosting it. So a bunch of creators and founders are going to be there and me and Claire are going to go together. We're going to eat dinner first. I just ordered Uber Eats, so I should be here any minute now. I got Thai food because that's usually my go-to. And then, uh, yeah, we should be out here like in an hour. And then hopefully the party goes well. Usually at these events, I need a friend with me because I hate going alone. I mean, I can socialize alone, but it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> so Claire and I just finished the event. How was it? It was fun. It was fun. I met so many peeps. I'm going to put some pictures here. I got some coffee, which is really random, but... Oh, Claire, I think it's one floor down. Or we can okay, go... Well, we can walk down. Yeah. We are about to head home. It's not 10 p.m., which is honestly pretty good timing for an event because usually I'm home like really, really late. And yeah, what was your highlight of the event? I would say getting to spend time with my BFF, Jake. Uh, twas, oh, wait, girl, where are we? Wait, what? Where are we? Are we in the wrong one? We're a little lost. I feel like this is where we get killed. Wait, no, this is going up. No, I know, but the, the staircase, like the staircase, right? Uh, Maybe we were on like two. Anyways, we had a really fun night. I got to spend time with Claire and meet some new people. Thanks for watching my vlog today. I hope you guys like my day in the life. Claire, I'm vlogging again. This is my first vlog back in the States. Oh my god! I know. Congrats. Anyways, leave me a comment because I'm gonna need it. I'm a very fragile human that like, needs- Like, comment, and subscribe! I need the validation to continue. I uh, genuinely mean this, so let me know if you like this video. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye.